Hey everyone, welcome back once again to the Blind Pig YouTube channel. I'm Jason, your host. Uh, today, we're making margaritas. Now, you see a ton of ingredients here. That's because we're actually going to make three different margaritas, and at the end, I'm going to have my beautiful wife come out and do a blind taste test. My goal here is to see if she can tell the difference between the most low-level uh, margarita possible, a very, honestly, a high-end, mid-level margarita, the way we usually drink them at home, and then a top shelf, as top shelf as it gets, Class A Azul margarita. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is make you all three on camera, and then I'm gonna bring my wife in and let her try all three, get her opinion on these, uh, and see what she thinks. Now, you might be thinking, well, your wife, we don't know her, if she has a good palate, if she, if she knows what she's talking about. Honestly, this is mainly a challenge for me to see if she can tell the difference between a super cheap margarita or a super expensive margarita. I'm mainly curious myself, and I think she represents your average uh, American female, and, and it's gonna be a good test to see if she can tell the difference. So uh, for all three of these, we're gonna start off with two ounces of tequila. Uh, for our low bottom shelf margarita, I literally got the cheapest tequila they have. It is Tortilla Autentico Silver Tequila makes a great margarita. This is like $7 for a liter. It doesn't get much cheaper than that. Uh, so for all three of these, the ingredients start the same. We are going to do two ounces of our tequila. Uh, for this one, we're gonna use triple sec. Uh, again, a bottom of the barrel. Uh, it's like a six, $7 bottle of uh, triple sec here. Uh, one ounce of that. And then for this one, we're gonna use simple syrup. We use a different sweetener uh, for the other ones, but for this one, again, as a representation of the lowest end, I wanna use this. I'm gonna make these a little sweeter than maybe most people like. I know how my wife likes to drink her margaritas. I wanna make sure it's gonna be still good for her. Uh, so we'll use a healthy squirt of that. Then our lime. I debated for this one using margarita mix, since that's what they're gonna use for a bottom shelf margarita. I worried though if I use margarita mix in only our cheapest one, that should be able to the difference much easier. So I'm gonna use lime in all three of these. Uh, so we're gonna just squirt into here two lime halves, one lime total. And we're gonna add some ice. Find the right lid here. There we go. And we are going to shake it. Now, all three of these we're going to serve on the rocks. You don't have to shake it too much since we're going to have ice in the drink. You don't have to get it too super cold. But a little bit of shake and mix the ingredients up is important. Uh, for the next one, for our mid-level, uh, we're again going to use this time Milagro. Uh, this is our go-to house tequila. It's about, a, I'd say, $25, $30 bottle. It makes for a great margarita. So once again, two ounces of our tequila. This time, for our middle of the road, we're gonna use Grand Gala. Uh, I like Grand Gala. Uh, one of our favorite uh, margarita bars use this, trying to turn me onto it. I kind of always use triple sec back in the day, and I realized this is much better. It's kind of a happy medium between your triple sec and your Contro, which we use in the high end. Uh, it's an orange liqueur, as is triple sec, as is Contro. But uh, affordable, it's about $20 a bottle. And we use one ounce of that. Once again, we're going to crush. There goes the lime on the floor. Two lime halves into this. And then for our sweetener in this drink, uh, we're actually using agave. Agave is also like simple syrup, it's a sweetener, um, but it's a much tastier one. Um, I think it works much better in margaritas. It's usually what I use at home when I make them. You don't need as much. It's actually even sweeter than simple syrup. Uh, again, I know my wife likes some sweet, so I wanna make sure I use enough in there. Uh, now we'll add our ice. And once again, that's the wrong one. We'll shake it up. Again, just a couple shakes needed since we're serving this one once again on the rocks. Now for our last one, for our top shelf, if you go to a, a tequila bar, uh, they might have this, which is your Class A Azul. This is about a $100, $110 bottle of tequila. Uh, I bought this for a special occasion, uh, promotion at work. I really only use it for special occasions. Again, it's a sipper. 
Uh, at most, I might squirt a little bit of lime into it, but I usually drink it on the rocks. Um, and it's not definitely not an everyday tequila at that price. You want to make it last a little longer, but boy, is it good. Um, so for this one, I'm going to use once again. Oh boy, this feels almost wrong to make this into a margarita, but hey, it's for the YouTubes, right? So we will use two ounces of our tequila, being extra careful on that without to spill. Uh, and then for our orange liqueur this time, like I said, we're going to use Control. Uh, this is probably your highest end orange liqueur. Uh, now, I got the small bottle, which was about $25. The big bottle, I think, is usually about $35, $40. One ounce of that. Once again, we're going to use our agave syrup. Just a little bit in there. We don't want to ruin the flavor of the tequila too much on that one. But again, I know she likes some sweet, so it's important to put it in there. And then, once again, we go back to our limes. Now I actually cut an odd number of limes for some reason, so I'm going to extra squirt that last one. Use a half here that I have. And then I have some cut up pieces here, so I'm going to throw a couple of those in there just to get, make sure I even out the amount of lime in each of these. We'll just throw that in there actually since that didn't crush up too well. And once again, we add our ice. Gotta reuse the top here, I'm missing the top somehow. Give that a few shakes. All right, we got all three made here. Uh, now I'm gonna mix these up so she does not know which order I made them in. Okay, cool, all mixed up. She doesn't have a clue now. She's off camera, not looking, hopefully. Uh, so now, uh, we're gonna bring Danielle on. Danielle, why don't you come on out? Say hi to the people on YouTube. Hey, everybody. Uh, now, Danielle, what do you really like to drink? Um, I like a margarita or a seltzer. Okay, perfect. Well, we made you margaritas. Excited. Uh, so when, I know you've been asking for a while to try this. Dying to Yeah, uh, I know tequila. But I don't wanna sip it. Yeah, tequila isn't usually her thing. She maybe does a shot or she's doing margaritas. So she finally, for the sake of this video, gets to try the Class A as old. Now, normally uh, you would ask the person you're making the margarita for, hey, do you like salt or not? But Danielle, what do you always pick? Love salt. She loves her salt. I know that for a fact, so I have it ready to go here. Um, so we'll start out, we're gonna rim each glass real quick, with a little bit of lime. And then I have our salt here, ready to go. Now I know your philosophy is usually more salt the better, but these are just going to be small ones, so I don't need to go too overboard here. Yeah, I need to taste the, exactly. the drink there. Exactly, we don't want to taste just salt. And like I said, we're making these on the rocks, so we're going to go ahead and add ice to each of these glasses. Normally you wouldn't want your bartender touching the ice, but again, it's a home bar and she's my wife. She touches me sometimes, so I think it's okay. <laughs> Uh, all right, now I've mixed these up. You don't have a clue which one's which, right? Right. All right. So we're going to start out here um, with this one. Uh, but I think real quick which one this was. Give it another shake real quick here. And we're going to strain it into our glass. All right. And for a little garnish there, we will toss a lime wedge in there for you. So go ahead. Let us know what you think. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, not bad. It tastes pretty good. Okay. Um, nothing jumps out. Not too not, sweet, not too yeah. sour. No, it's pretty great. Um, okay. There's no like aftertaste. Just a, a solid margarita, I'd right. say. Let me give a quick taste myself since uh, I know which one it is. Yeah, I'll leave my comments out since again, I know what I'm drinking here. Um, all right, next we'll try our middle one. we we'll use our top here. Bring that into our rocks glass. A little darker color. Go ahead, get, um, side your, uh, your garnish here, sorry. <laughs> Gotta make it look pretty. There you go, it's for the YouTubes. I'm 
I keep to see if I can remember which one's which. Well, that one's good. Yeah? Yeah, I like that. Um, it's a little sweeter, maybe. Okay. But definitely not too sweet. Okay. Tastes delicious. All right. Again, no, uh, no bad, uh, aftertaste or anything. Well, that's good. We're not going for bad here, that's for no, sure. No, don't want that. So far, you don't have to say it out loud, but do you have a preference over the two so far? Um, the second one. Okay, I just said you don't say it out loud, but that's okay. Oh, right. No worries, no worries. I'm not used to this yet. Not a problem. So we'll go with our third one here now. Again, we'll reuse our lid, which I seem to have somehow lost. It's right here. Thank you very much. This is why I keep her around. <laughs> Oh, we did have water for me to drink. Oh, yes, anything. that was for your palate cleanser. Now I'm cleansed. That's kind of a middle color compared to the other two. And I, once again, I'm short on limes, so we're going to reuse your first garnish there and go ahead and give that a taste. Thank you. Oh, that's very different. Different, I like that. good, different, yeah, bad. Yeah, very good. Okay. Um, little little uh, less sweet. Um, not is, that, is that okay for you? Usually yeah. I like them pretty sweet. So, yeah, okay. I like it though. It's good. It's okay. very balanced. Okay. It's delicious. All right. Um, let me give that a taste myself once again here. Okay. Why don't you go ahead and rank these for me? Um, favorite, least favorite, uh, middle, or however you want to do it. Um, I think I like this one the best. Okay. And this one the middle. Okay. I guess that, that makes sense, it, but it's not, it's not much less than that one. Okay, fair enough. Well, uh, all right. Well, I guess you prove that you do have some level of taste. Oh, good. Because I actually gave these into the order of uh, cheapest, middle, and best. So okay. apparently you do like the Class A Azul, uh, the best, uh, the Milagro, the middle. So and surprisingly, it. actually, yeah, go ahead and keep that one. <laughs> surprisingly, you didn't think that was that uh, much less than yeah. the Milagro. So I would, I was, uh, so I'm surprised by that too. Well, that's good because we have a whole liter of this now that okay. we'll have to use for you maybe in the future. Well, we'll, we'll make that the second round of margaritas. There you go. Uh, so that's, that's it for today, guys. Uh, once again, thank you for joining us. Hope you learned a little bit from uh, my margaritas episode. Uh, go ahead and subscribe, like us, and check us out again in the future. Thanks. Cheers.